What's going on guys, Chias right here and in today's video we're discussing about customizing your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch without being jailbroken and I'm talking about themes in here. Now as you can see I currently run a theme which is quite interesting in here and uh, this theme, this particular theme is taken from Cyrus. Now something you should know about this, this device is not jailbroken and it's currently running iOS 10.3.3, um, you can take a look in here, so there is absolutely no jailbreak available for it currently, but I'm still running a theme. Now, before we start, this is never going to be exactly as being jailbroken and the reason for that is that you cannot modify system files, for example application icons, in depth if you're not jailbroken. So this is using the normal web clip style and it's taken from here, from Cyrus. Now the way it works, it replaces, in fact it adds a couple icons on your screen that are the uh, theme icons and they all work. For example, I have this G button here, it does go to Google and uh, let's test out the music application. It does start, but I have no music. So you can see they do work, the icons do work, but uh, the original ones do remain and you have to put them in a folder like this, otherwise they're going to show up and they are not themed. So you have to move them in a folder and move that folder to the last page. That's pretty much the caveat of it. And if you want more than this, I mean, if you want to really replace the original logos, the original icons, you will have to be jailbroken. So this is pretty much as close as you can get without being jailbroken to having a theme on your device. And you either take it or wait for a jailbreak. Because I know there will be a lot of people complaining that this is not real theming and so on. Well, if you can do better, I mean, yeah. Anyways, let me show you how you do it. Well, you go ahead and install Cyrus Installer, link in the description, and it has a feature called theming. Now, I do recommend paying attention. The application is infested with um, ads, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead here in apps, and you can see they have a themes and tweaks section. You have to go in there, and you have a couple of themes available in here that you can take, and they are looking good. I mean, I did test a lot of them, and they do look pretty good. You can see you even have the icons from the uh, Samsung S8, which is quite nice. And then you have some flat style, some bold style and so on. Some of them are even uh, actually existing, some of them are really from Cydia, and some of them probably do not exist on Cydia, but they're pretty nice. So you can see you do have quite some um, some options in here. Yeah, we do uh, run a theme currently from here, but I have no idea what is it called. Probably, let me take a look in here. It's probably the first one. Yeah, let me, let me look in here. Mm, yeah, probably it's plain, I have no idea, but um, you can then click on here, in fact tap on here, and it's going to load the content of the uh, theme, and it's going to say something like this. You need to click install, and if you have a passcode, you need to write down that passcode. Well, I'm not going to continue, since I already have a theme, but how do you go and remove it when you no longer need it? Well, you need to go to the uh, settings, I can find it faster in here. And uh, on the profiles, let me move back to settings in here, on the profiles you will have the Cyrus installer profile, which is the application itself, the Cyrus, and then you have a profile with the name of the theme, for example this one in here, which you then just go ahead and delete. It's going to show you something like this, you click delete, and you can see after you remove it, you no longer have any icons, but you still do have the originals in here in the folder, and if I if I want to install a new theme now, I can go ahead in here and do so. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead here to the apps and themes, and let's try to install something else. From here, which is probably going to be the S8, no labels. You can have it with labels or without labels, which is quite nice. And this is the procedure, there we go, it's going to show you this, and you click next, and you click install, and there you are. Now if I go back in here, you will have to probably move them around, which is a little bit odd, but uh, yeah, you do have the icons, they do have that uh, S8 style, 
to them and therefore they're pretty interesting. Now again, this is not going to be exactly as, you know, being jailbroken, but it adds a little bit of, you know, color to your device. So if you're interested in customizing it at, at least a little bit until a jailbreak is um, out, you are going to be able to use these. Now uh, I'm going to show you, you can actually uh, move them in here like this and start uh, redesigning, you know, your home screen and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. You can find Cyrus Installer in the description down below. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, subscribe and give this video a thumb up and share it. And if you don't, give this video a thumb down. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this method and peace out.